what's up everybody jr raymond back again and i'm coming to you again from marshall lanes because we have these pba patterns out here uh, so if you're in the area marshall area uh, just west on 94 for me uh, make sure to stop out here get some open bowling in and soon everything will open up hopefully and they'll be able to sell some food and liquor and all that good stuff too so uh, head over to marshall lanes be able to check them out over here the hutchings are very very uh, very good people to uh, take care of me and let me to do the things that I need to do out here. But today we're going to go back to that knockout again and we're going to bring it over here on the 48 foot shark pattern. We're going to take it out here, see what it's got on a longer pattern. You just saw it on the 36 foot Viper. Now let's take it over here on a long pattern and see if it can keep up over here. Um, but we'll take it out here. Uh, again, it's that layout. It's that same 55 by 4 by 65. Um, so it puts that pen, you know, right, Nick, right in my, my ring finger, even just a little bit below it. Uh, so we'll take it out here and see what she's got in a minute. Stay tuned. thrown a single shot on this lane yet so you guys are going to get to see the only shots that have been bold but 48 feet we're going to show you the difference between this and that 36 foot pattern um, we're going to do start just like we did trying to play somewhere around five and uh, move left as we go and see what the ball does and she gonna go for a long time on 48 feet but you saw, I mean, that actually hooked really early. That hooked almost as soon as I put the ball down and then it backed up the rest of the way. So that's kind of a interesting thing there. I haven't actually looked at this pattern other than to know it's 48 feet. That's about it. So we're gonna need some tight angles on this bad boy, especially with this ball. So I'm gonna move five left, make like a five and three, just see what it does. Gonna have to play straighter up the lane at it, which this is pretty much how you attack this on the fresh, at least a lot of guys do. Playing straighter up the lane in the track area or just left of the track area, jamming that 9, 10, 11 area because there's so much volume there. Let me see if I can throw another one in that spot, see if it'll still sit there again. like that but that's that's the idea is to play them the angles much straighter and you can notice on this pattern you're not getting that big swooping hook like you did on 30 on, on the 36 foot viper over on lane six so a little bit different ball reaction but again it's still got enough pop down lane to get through the pins so if i move five left now and five and three it's going to open my angle up just a little bit and see what happens. I still try to get there, but again, I saw a lot of early hook there. I watched the ball hook very quick off my hand. And that's generally how it goes with the longer patterns because you've got so much more distance to spread that oil out over it. And so the high friction zones in the front generally I'll hook a little bit more. So being softer with your hand is usually a plus. So I'm gonna try that one again. I'm just gonna move my eyes one left. So it's gonna be a five and four. Still swish zone, still doesn't quite wanna get through there. So this is where I would say I need a stronger ball to get through the pens. Um, or I need to play that straighter angle like you just saw, right around that eight, nine, 10, or nine, 10, 11, whichever. Cause that looked pretty good and it was gonna hold in there pretty well. But let's go a few more left and try to slow down. Three more left. Three and two. I'm just gonna try to get a little bit slower. Just 
to get it to hold that line and that nice tight angle in there. Now I'll stay where I am and I'll move my eyes back right a couple and stay slow. See if I can get it to see if I can get it to hook down lane. We made a pickup. Looked a little lazy, a little deflection there, but that's okay. It's kind of expected on 48 feet, pretty long pattern. It's, this is typically, you know, anywhere from six to eight feet longer than your typical leak patterns are. So we'll keep moving left and just see how much we can get the ball to pick up the lane in the, in the oil in the middle. Nice and slow, still comes around the corner. A little bit flat getting it through the, through the pens, but it was pretty good, surprisingly. And again, I mean, this ball, it shocked me on the short pattern. I know everybody's kind of hyping this ball up and seeing it on this flat pattern. I think uh, I'm right on, I'm on board. I'm on board seeing it, how it's reacting in these areas. and slow yeah look at that thing that's crazy this ball's amazing this ball is really good i mean i i like it for sure on the longer patterns shorter patterns i think it'll be good once the lanes break down a touch or if i can you know just get straighter with a weaker hand maybe i didn't try that much in that video you saw on the shorter pattern <laughs> let's keep going left Stay slow. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no chance of that one hooking. That was quite a ways right. Just because I'm curious, I want you guys to be able to see. I'm gonna throw a proton physics on this lane so you guys can kind of get a gauge of the difference. Let me go back to where the knockout looked really good, playing that straighter part of the lane. I don't remember where my feet were. So we're just gonna guess. It's a little further right. You can see how much that picked up. So I gotta move my feet left. That wasn't quite where I was. But you can see how much smoother and more blended this Proton was than that knockout. Let's try this again. Try to throw that Proton one more time in that area. Try to go a little bit further left where I was. I think it was, it was standing right around 20. Looks pretty good either way. Proton looks good, knockout looks good. I'll throw the knockout there one more time. And then I'll try to go around the lane with the Proton and see what it does. See how that one just picks up the back part of the lane quite a bit more. Proton blends it out. This one's a little bit cleaner. Picks up the back part. So now let's see. Will the Proton be strong enough? I don't think it'll have the back end to get through the pens from the deeper angle. 
but we're going to give it a look. From that spot where the knockout didn't hook. So you can see that one pick up quite a bit earlier and it was just more rounded, more blended, so it didn't quite get through there. All right, so I gave you a little sneak peek with that proton physics as well. So you saw the knockout here on 48 foot shark pattern uh, and you could see it definitely wanted to read early, but again, it's because those longer patterns, the, that, that amount of volume, probably about the same as what was on the short pattern, it's spread out through another 12 feet of the lane. So it makes some parts of the lane be a little bit drier. Uh, it doesn't look that dry, but you can definitely, if you go back and look at the video, you can see these certain bowling balls were actually hooking a little early. Uh, and then the oil in the middle and the back part of the lane made it look like they didn't hook as much. And that's sometimes what happens with some of these PBA patterns. But you could see the difference between the knockout and that proton physics. The proton was obviously quite a bit earlier, uh, a lot smoother, whereas that knockout was cleaner and it found a way to kick a little bit down lane. So uh, the knockout, again, is going to be another one of those balls that I'm going to use on the longer pattern, especially when I can shut my angles down. Uh, I may use the proton and some other stronger balls to start, depending on what the situation is, what the pattern looks like out there. But here, I would be using that knockout right in that, you know, 10, 11, 12 range, keeping my angles closed down. Um, so this is going to be a great ball for, so far you see them on the tougher patterns. Eventually, we're going to take it on an easier pattern too. But next up, we're going to take it over on, uh, it's either going to be the 39-foot chameleon or the 40-foot bear. I haven't decided which one we're going to do first yet, but you're going to see it here in a minute. If you want to get your knockout, make sure to head over to bowlerx.com. i got a link in the description. But until next time, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later.